Hello and welcome to the world of Sahi Pro, a smart and robust automation testing tool for all technologies. Today, we are going to talk about all the new and exciting features added in the latest version of Sahi Pro, that is version 8.0. Here is an overview, a list of all new features which we will discuss in this session. So, let's jump right in. The first focus of this release has been the areas of controlled playback, that is, features wherein you can control how your scripts and suites run. The first feature is Depends. This allows you to define a dependency between different scripts in a suite and control their run based on the status of the depended script. Let us understand this further with an example. Let's say we are testing a banking system. If it were an Indian banking system, there would be a scenario to add a bank account number as a beneficiary before you could transfer funds to that account. So, the scenario to transfer funds to an account would actually come later and would depend on the successful addition of that account as a beneficiary. So, in our data-driven suite, also called as a DDCSV file, we would see something like this. The first script is add beneficiary, which has its data and parameters set. The second script is transfer funds, which would depend on the add beneficiary. For indicating this dependency, we have a column called depends, in which we can write the complete name of the dependent script or we can use the tag previous PREV indicating that the script depends on the previous script in this sequence. In previous releases, if we had such a dependency, we could add these scripts in separate suite files and then run those suites in a sequence to ensure that dependent scripts do not begin to run parallelly or in incorrect order. But the disadvantage there was that we would get separate run reports. In version 8.0, by adding the depends tag, we achieve a number of benefits. You can define the script dependencies up front within your suite. If the dependent script fails, the dependent script will not be unnecessarily executed or failed, it would be marked as skipped. Furthermore, you get a single consolidated log and report which clearly indicates the status of all scripts. Here you see an example of the log. So, if the first script failed, all other dependent scripts are marked as skipped. While, if the first script passed, all dependent scripts are run as required. Next, we'll talk about retry. As a feature, retry refers to attempting to rerun any script that failed. As of version 7.5, retry for a failed script would happen once the entire suite run has been completed. But with the addition of the dependency feature, a failed script may cause all dependent scripts to be skipped. To avoid this, we must attempt retry of a failed script as soon as it fails. So, this option of retry has been added. Go to your suite and hit playback. Click on advanced run settings and see retry. The number of retries to be attempted for aborted or failure status scripts is configurable. This feature also applies to single script files. Another feature pertaining to playback is modes. In distributed playback, different nodes or systems may have specific browsers or environments. For example, some nodes may be connected to iOS or Android devices. 
during distributed playback of a test suite every script may have different needs for its execution like a specific browser say chrome or specific devices say ios or android sahi pro version 8.0 introduces the mode setting in data driven suites wherein you can specify the mode of run against the script in a separate column titled modes you can specify the mode as browser desktop ios or android against the script name in the column each script in the suite will be executed when and where its mode requirement are met if any matching node is available scripts will be queued for execution on such matching nodes if no matching node is found the script will be marked as not supported all these features depends retry and modes help you control your suite execution in a tighter manner and give additional flexibility for your runs the next major focus of version 8.0 release has been on reporting features have been added to enable better and more consolidated reporting the first of them is suite analysis as you know you can find test suite run logs and reports in the logs window here you can click on the suite run and have a look at the suite report which gives you the run times scripts passed and failed and every scripts run details now let's say you had 12 scripts run as a part of the suite and 10 of them failed to find out what failed in each of them and analyze the root cause of each failure you would have to click each one and go see the steps failed if a single step was the cause of failure of all of these scripts it would take a longer time and more clicks to realize the same in version 8.0 sahi pro brings you a suite analysis report at the click of a button here on the same screen with this you can find out which step caused the failure of the scripts and if a single step caused multiple failures it can be clearly seen here Here it is shown that in the suite run a single step which was finding create button caused failure of 12 scripts all dependent scripts that failed because of it are seen against it and your effort of figuring it out is reduced many fold clicking on the step takes you directly to the exact line of code in the script which can now be looked into This suite analysis also shows you the failed scripts history that is the scripts which failed in this run and their status across previous runs it shows the parse percentage and their status of runs within sahi from recent to old this is our new suite analysis report Another new tool added to the reporting mechanism is the consolidated reports Multiple run reports can now be consolidated into a single consolidated report with a single click directly from the suite's log page. Here you can see I have executed multiple test suites and would like a consolidated report for the entire bunch. I can select them using this checkbox, click on the consolidated report button on top of this page. This shows me a report with details of all runs, number of scripts executed, status summary of each script and test cases passed and failed. This can prove very useful when sending reports to management. These consolidated reports are also downloadable as Excel for easy sharing. These are the two main features meant to make your automation reports crisper and more informative. Now we'll discuss the new functionalities added in script editing. 
passing named parameters. In Sahi Pro, you can directly create test scenarios where you can call functions and pass test data directly as parameters to those methods. The limitation here in previous release was that in case you had a bunch of parameters and you wanted to pass value only to a few of them, you had to follow the same sequencing as per your defined function and remember which column meant which parameter. You had to leave out blank columns for the parameters you wanted to ignore. This has now been overcome with the passing of named parameters. You can specify the parameter value along with the name and placing a colon. Here you see a scenario file in the previous format wherein the column values are test data for the functions login, add books and so on. If we press Ctrl and click on the function name cell, we see the parameters and their values. We can select the set field value checkbox and press OK. This now adds the parameter names with their values in the data columns. You can also do this directly by typing in the parameter name, colon, value in the subsequent columns. This has several benefits for the script creators and editors. The test scenario file is now more readable as you know directly from here which value means what. You only need to name and specify the parameters that you need to pass and others need not be specified at all. So no blanks needed. The sequencing of parameters also does not matter now as they are all named. So it makes the passing as well as the omission of parameters very easy. You can begin creation of such test scenarios even before your application is ready, thus supporting your test first approach. Then we have added the functionality of CSV as accessor repository. As you know, Sahipro already provides automatic creation of accessor repositories or AR files as you record your script, thus enabling separation between the steps code and accessors list. Previously, these AR files were SAH type, which had the limitation of maintenance. The key pair values of your elements were present in all AR files. But if one element properties or accessor changes, then you would have to edit all the relevant AR files, which may be error prone and cumbersome. In version 8.0, Sahi Pro brings the capability for creation of a CSV file as an accessor repository or AR. This is more readable and easily manageable. Herein, we can have a single keyword correspond to multiple columns in which we can keep different accessors of the same element. For example, corresponding to different languages or locales. This one file will have the AR values for all possible locales of the application and when needed for script execution, we can call the relevant locales AR by using underscore include AR file name and column name of that particular language. The second usage can be, let's say you have an application that runs on different platforms. In each platform, business flow of a scenario may be similar, but the element locators and identification may differ. In such a case, you can build a single AR file in CSV format wherein you can have separate columns for browser, desktop or mobile modes of your application, all associated with the single key value. So essentially, your scripts remain the same in flow or steps for all platforms. At execution time, you can include the relevant AR column as per your run mode or language. This feature helps in cross-platform execution of your scripts 
as well as localization testing. Next are some new APIs added in version 8.0. Add response substitution rule and remove response substitution rule. Previously, you could write the substitution rules in a configuration file which was applicable to the entire Sahi installation and the scripts therein. But these two new APIs now allow you to add substitution rules for a specific portion of code and you can later remove once your work is complete. Underscore get layout has been added for verifying the layout as a part of UI verification APIs. For more details on these, please refer the documentation links as shown here. TypeScript API has also been added, the details of which can be found in the documentation link shown here. Sahi already supports testing your REST APIs and the latest release version 8.0 has added the support of file upload using REST. The details of all these APIs and features can be found in the documentation links provided in the description below and as shown on screen. All in all, the latest release of Sahi Pro brings you some awesome features and exciting new functionalities to make your test automation smoother and crisper. If you would like to schedule a demo, please reach the support team at support at sahipro.com and sales at sahipro.com. Thank you.